take white. Look, I have this big old thing of white. I'm just dipping my brush right in there. I had to add a little bit of water to this because uh, it was super thick, but that's okay. And I'm gonna paint right over the holes for his eyes and all of that just um, because we're gonna paint it with black, it's gonna be okay. So if you've never been here and this is your first time, I love to show you what to do with our products. We have uh, blanks, which I want to inspire you to paint yourself. We have printed rails, if you're not a painter and you like the printed stuff. Okay, um, what else? We got all kinds of stuff. I am using an angled brush that has a little sharp edge, so hopefully I can get right up next to this here. Yep, look at that. It is a little bit bigger. I should have grabbed a smaller brush, but that's okay. We'll make it work. So the paint by lines are guidelines. They're there to help you. And you're gonna see that I go over the lines a lot. It's just the way uh, I paint. Look, I'm a free spirit and I do what I want. So if I want to paint over the line, I'm going to paint over the line. <laughs> Funny, right? And let's get down here. I might need a smaller brush for this little part right here, but his mittens or his gloves or his whatever you want to call them are going to be black. So it's not a big deal. And we're gonna outline everything with a black paint marker. So, um, we could just actually get right up close there. So. There's a lot of paint right here. Let me scoop some of that up. There we go. There we go. gotta get in here. How am I gonna do this? Let me see. Let me go this way. I'm so indecisive. How am I gonna do this? Just like that. The three dots. Oh, you guys are helping because I don't know. See, I learned something. Let me move this to the side because I'm right-handed, so I need to get my right hand over here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I could grab a smaller brush, but we're gonna paint black over this. So I'm just gonna try and be as neat as possible and get in that little part right there and flip my brush around, come around this way and smooth out what I just did. And smooth all of that out. Okay, and then when it's done drying, we're going to probably do a second coat because this is uh, messy white paint. Let me do it. I do use baby wipes. I have them just here on the table. So. Okay. I'm just going to wipe the brush off and then put it in the water. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you, Denise. Peyton, we haven't done the gnomes without the rails. I don't see why not. I'll have to talk to Richard about that. Okay, so he's done. What's next? Let's do purple. We're gonna do, um, let's do his bot. Oh, you know what? Gray. We need to, we need to do his beard. That's another light color. So I'm just gonna use actually this gray spot here. And um, these little brushes here are my favorite. That's why they look beat up. I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Oh, and I need to do his little peach nose. If you hear noises, the air is kicking on and off, and then there's, we have trucks that go right in front of our building. Oops. 
So right here comes his beard, and then it's part of his outfit, so I don't want to cover that whole thing. And let's smooth this out, these paint lines that I just put on here. Over here so I can see I'll put it right in front of my face there we go hope you guys are having a good Monday and did you see my post earlier I'm already working on what I'm gonna do for next Monday if you're a dog lover you're gonna love it love 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 so make sure you come back next Monday to see what I'm gonna be painting we're gonna do the same thing have the uh, I'm already pulling stuff out to do a little kit and we're going to have the painting available and the blank. So um, we've been talking about, you know, what, what we're doing and I've been painting a lot of things that, you know, I painted earlier this year, but what I really want is to inspire you to paint yourself. I really show you like the basics. Okay, not a professional here, but I can show you the basics. And that would be the goal to uh, inspire you to paint. I tell you, you know, what paints I'm using. Um, I love using Apple Barrel simply because um, you can get them at Walmart. Mostly everybody has a Walmart. You don't have to use Apple Barrel if you like to use a different uh, paint brand, okay? Um, the brushes, I use a lot of random brushes. Um, what else? How we seal them. We should tell you about that. So I really want to inspire you guys to try painting. I move fast, but if you save the video or um, share it to your own page your own personal page you can always watch it again and you won't lose it. it'll be on your timeline and if you watch the replay look you'll be able to speed it up fast forward you don't like my talking speed it up mute it right I'm gonna need a smaller brush that is too big but this gray covered very nice let me get a smaller liner brush or something one of my little favorites. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Darlene. Tornado warnings. Oh my gosh. Well, whatever happens, I hope you're safe. So the reason why I got the little liner brush is because it's like this little area right here and I wanna make sure I get a nice little point in there. And you can paint over the line. You don't have to stay in there. So this little part right here is pretty exaggerated just because uh, I don't have a little mini brush, okay? We're just going to use this little liner brush. I think that's good. So when you look at him, you can see his beard is taking shape and the little ghost. And you can still see the lines. Now this is wet over here, but you can still see the line. There's a line, 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 line. So it, it shows up pretty good. Maybe just not on the camera. Okay, what's next? Oh, we were gonna do purple. So purple is going to be his outfit and I've already used purple, so we're gonna put purple over here. And I think I'm gonna use this big one. I think this one's gonna be okay. I am going to outline him when we're done in black. So this does have an edge to it. I'm just gonna use the black. And there's a little hair on my brush. Oh shoot, hold on, I gotta cut this little hair off. It's bothering me. Oh, gotta 
got to use my ribbon scissors I don't like to use on anything. There. Got a little wonky hair on there. Bristle. Oh, his peach nose? Okay, I'll get that one next before we do the hat. This guy is going to look so cute. Oh my gosh. Now some of the purple does look a little see-through, so I might have to do a second coat, which is okay. We got time. I like to keep my lives. Um, oops, see I went over that a little bit too much. Bummer. I'll just have to fix it with the black. Um, I like to keep my lives at an hour, a little bit less, a little bit more usually, but thanks babe. Um, it usually comes out to an hour. So if you see me painting, I've been doing this a little bit, a little while. Once you get going and uh, find your groove, you, you'll be able to uh, not take two hours. But if you're a detailed artist, artist is different, then uh, you're gonna have all kinds of uh, fun things to add onto this. I just show you the basics. Like the basic basics. <laughs> okay, there's that. And let's do up here. See how I'm going over the line, but I know that I'm going to cover it with black anyways when I outline it, so it's going to be okay. And his little arm sleeve right here. I try to do one, like gray is totally covered. The white, mm, I might have to clean up a little bit. The purple, I might have to do touch up, um, but it just depends on the paint color, usually. And it's coming out so good right now. Oh, he's coming together. He's coming together so good. Oh, there's a goober, get that off. I have brown paper down so you can see all my marks. I just like wipe it off. There was a little goober on there. Another goober. 
Okay, we're gonna leave them alone. Done with that. So this is black, this is black. His eyes are black, that is peach. So let's do a little bit of peach. Now when I'm doing a little area, um, I'm shaking up the bottle. I'm just gonna take the lid off and um, use the lid because I don't need that much. I'm not gonna squirt it out and waste it, okay? Hi, Mom. So I took the lid off. I'm just gonna grab some from there. The peach that I like to use is sun-kissed peach. For a little uh, Caucasian nose. So sun-kissed peach is my go-to for Caucasian, white skin, um, nutmeg brown. I absolutely love that for people of color. So if you're wondering like what skin tone, you what paint color you would use for skin tone, those are the two that I go to. Sun-kissed peach and nutmeg brown, okay? So there's that. Um, let's see what else. Now I think we're just going to do the hat. So let's get, let me put this back on before I knock it off. It's his beard. Yeah, his beard kind of comes down like this. And then when I outline the ghost, it'll all come together. Thank you, Linda. Linda has been watching me paint since forever. <laughs> right? Okay, time to take a drink. So now the hat, I'm gonna actually turn this upside down so um, I can reach. So let's, I think I'm gonna do lime green right here. How about lime green and then orange and orange. So we bring all three colors in because we're using the lime green, the purple and the orange with the black and the white. I think that's gonna work. So um, this one is lime sherbet. Uh, I don't think this is going to be dark enough, but let's see. Let's see if we can make it work. I'm going to use this brush. Nope, don't like that one. What about this one? Yeah, this one's a little bit better. And I have to tell you guys, I'm super excited about something. I have some... Um, some things that we're working on behind the scenes. And I've reached out to a couple of uh, hand painters in our reef community. And I'm working on something special with them. So doing some testing today to see if it will actually work. And then we should have some uh, fun stuff coming soon. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Shoot, that's gonna be black anyways. Okay, so his hat, look, I just got real super happy here. His hat has this part right here that's gonna be black when I fill this in, but I just, just kept painting over it. Hello. Hi, Donna. So this looks like mint on the, well, on my screen it looks mint. It is not mint. It's like a lighter lime, but I don't know if it's lime enough. You know what I mean? So let's see, there's just some spots here that I wanna fill in. Hi, Andrea.
<laughs> Linda, that's so funny. My kids are too. They are so brown. Like Owen's feet are like super brown. Both of those kids got the olive skin from me and Richard and we are white. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it. Let me see how this looks just I think it's gonna look okay because we're gonna accent it on screen, on camera. I think these are pretty close, so I'm gonna leave it. Same with this. Now this has shiny in it, but just looking at these two, I think they're gonna do just fine. So I'm gonna leave it before I mess it up. Let's get some orange. My kids have been in the sun like all summer and they are so brown. I'm a, I'm a little jealous because you guys see what happened when I get in the sun. Hi, Claire. Did I already say hi? I think I already said hi. Hi, Missy. I am jealous because uh, the last time I got in the sun, you guys see I got burnt to a crisp. Okay, I'm taking orange. I'm gonna fill this in. Like a little poof ball right here. Now this would be super cute to add some um, glitter. I'm not doing glitter on this, but if you paint it, you can do glitter and it will look amazing. Okay, not too shabby. I'm gonna do a second coat on there, so I'm just gonna leave this to the side. Let's move this. Let's do um, black. So let me turn this back around while that dries. And I have my big old black right here. Let's get some black done. Okay, so I'm gonna make this super easy. I am taking my black paint marker, shake it up, and then I push the tip in to get that paint flowing. And then I'm going to, I'm just gonna leave this right here. I'm going to outline his eyes and his nose, okay? So when I paint, I'm gonna paint inside. Look at that. And now I'm gonna grab my favorite brush. Where is it? Is it this one? Yep. Get my towel. my big old black and now I'm just going to fill that right in and stay within the lines so if you have um, trouble trying to stay within the lines I guys since I started doing this uh, it's been really easy to to stay within those uh, marker lines than to try and paint and then go, oh my gosh, I, I messed up. See how cool? Now I'm gonna set this to the side. I am gonna do the same thing with his little mittens, gloves or whatever. Um, so just right here. And this is where I can over exaggerate the line and go towards the outside of the actual line that we have here. So I can paint inside the line. There we go. Oh, and I gotta do his boots too. Let's do that. See, my hand went a little burnt. And when you watch my videos, my sound effects are included for free. <laughs> in case you were wondering what's going on over here in my world, sound effects are for free. So just grab your brush and your black paint. And get to painting. <gasps> Isn't 
Isn't this looking so cute? I love it. So now down here, okay, I normally do details with a black paint marker. Well, if we do black on black, it doesn't really show up. That's why I have the white one out. So we can do some, what is that? A goober or something fell on my thing. Get out of here. Uh, so that way we can see it. A piece of glitter. Where did that come from? So weird. Probably the same place that little hair or fuzzball or whatever it was came from. Okay, do I have the black? Yes, we're good on that. Let's, I'm gonna wipe this off first. Thank you, baby. Richard is sharing links. Trisha, I, you, I don't keep, oops, I don't keep my brushes wet. Like these are dry over here, but when I reuse this, I, I'm using, look, this is my paint towel. It's all painted up. I'm, you know, squeezing the brush or I'm taking the paint off on a wet wipe before I put it in the water because when I put black inside my water, it gets everything nasty. Okay, so that's drying. Let's go back to the orange. We're just gonna, oh. Don't get your arm in there. We're just gonna put a little bit more orange up here just to brighten this up, this little poof ball. And then we're gonna do up here too. So I'm laying across the table here. I got too much paint on here. I'm gonna have to scoop some of this off. But that brightened up a lot. Ooh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, you guys. This is coming out so amazing. Okay, put this back on. I had this upside down because I barely have anything in it, my little orange, so we're just gonna do that. Okay. So now let's just outline and uh, put this back on before we spill it. So here is my black paint marker. I absolutely love these. This is the brand. If you guys want to look them up, I got this from Amazon. I actually bought a whole pack of black, but this is the brand name. And they're multi-surface. It tells you everything that they go on here. And this is the medium tip. So this one came with all different colors. I do have a box just like that with black, but my white came in that box. So. Um, I do store them standing up like this with the cap at the top. If I do this, the paint gets dried out on the bottom. So let's outline this. So shake it up, you push the tip in so the, flow, the paint gets flowing there. I'm gonna start away from his feet because it's still wet. And this is where we have fun. Just following the lines here. There's another one right here. There's a detail. I do put the the marker a little bit thicker, like right here, just to cover up the uh, parts that I went over. Now look at how cool he cleaned up right there. And then this part, that part. It's not looking good. So there is that edge out here. Once you outline it, you can come back over. I'm not gonna do an extra outline here. I'm just gonna keep to the edge of this. And then um, I need to go this way because, man. So let's do, I just got orange on me. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there's the uh, line right here. 
Can you guys see? Yeah, a little bit. I know it's going to be hard to see, hard to see because I'm right over it, but I'm just following the line with the paint marker. And you don't want to push so hard on the marker that that tip goes in because you're going to make paint come out. Oh, he is thinking cute. I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm just resting the marker right on it and following the paint line on there. Super cute, right? Spooktacular, yay! Yes, we do. I have an Amazon store. Look, I don't even know what the affiliate or the link is, but um, I have shared it before. I just don't know what it's uh, under right now. And then there's some details right here that we can do and then do the outside edge and all the way to his shoe right there oh my gosh he is adorable absolutely adorable and there's i can still see the lines that are on here exactly what i'm doing right here is because there's a there's a detail line right here and then let's finish this So in my Amazon store, I listed all the paint markers that I've used and that I talk about. So if you ever want to know one thing that I've used, I have that listed there. Okay, let me flip them upside down. I'm looking to see, he does have a little thing right there. Tammy, it gets used, it gets, uh, it takes getting used to in practice, but with the videos, if you uh, save it, you'll be able to pause and watch what I'm doing. I did not start out doing this. I was very nervous. I made a lot of mistakes, but um, you just grow with it. And now the patch up here we're going to outline the patch and then it has these little lines on it look at that oh my gosh so cute okay let's do this part over here now this comes all the way up and then extends down here but i'm going to fill all this in with the black i don't normally like using the paint marker to do that because i feel like it wasted but I have so much and I'd rather show you guys this way. If you're not comfortable with the paint marker and you prefer painting, just get your little liner brush and do what I'm doing. You don't have to use a paint marker for me. Oh, see, look, I just messed that up. So I'm just gonna come back and go right over it and you won't even tell. And just cover my little mistake it got on my pinky and smeared. So now this part, um, this is where I'm gonna do this little poop ball thing right here. And then fill all this in. Now I have another marker that I am obsessed with as well. Oh, there's one more line right here. Yep. So another marker I'm obsessed with that I'm going to use, this is the Sharpie brush pen. It says brush down here, but it's in black on gray. So it's the Sharpie pen. It has this felt tip 
This one, the tip actually moves, so I'm able to get right up in there in little lines. So now, what am I missing? Let's, I have a spot right here that I need to go over. And the white, let me show you with the white. So, hi Christine, hi Charlotte. Hi Georgie, you guys, thanks for being here. So with I, everything that I just did went over paint, but what you're gonna notice is I went a long time for doing that, but I did pause and I came over here. You can uh, wipe it off, just go like this. If you get paint on here, uh, mark it off and then get some more paint flowing in there. Just tap it down. So here's the white one, shake it up. Got a little paint on here. So now this one is good for your black. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I love it. I absolutely love it. I do want to say this is a little bit lighter than I like, but it does match up with the um, ribbon that I'm throwing in here. So He's cute. I'm just looking at him to see if there's anything else. There is a little spot of purple that I want to add a little second coat. So, ooh, a little string. Hello. I'm just going to open the cap and get um, this little brush. Nope, I'm going to use my favorite one. Get the water out. I'm just going to take a little bit of paint. and touch up this area right here. It was looking a little bit light. And I should have done that before I outlined, but that's okay. Oh, I see another line I could do right there. And a little bit right here. There we go. Yay, I'm super happy with this. Oh my gosh. Take the black marker and we're gonna go right here. And I'm just looking at like an angle to see if there's any more lines that I missed. There's one right here and then right here. Look at that with his little eyes. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. Boom. Super, super cute. I hope that this inspires you to want to paint.